Coding for Everyone C and C++ Specialization. If you search for C courses and learning programs on Coursera, this is the first one that pops up, and this specialization made by University of California, Santa Cruz. Moreover, as of today, there have been over 100,000 enrollments and almost 3,000 reviews. But is this something you should invest into? Or are there better options online? My name is Daniel, and today I will talk about the coding for everyone C and C++ specialization on Coursera. As always, things I will cover here are Program Overview, Structure and Content, Pricing and Certification, Career Opportunities, and of course, I will tell you what I personally think about this specialization. Also, guys, feel free to check out useful links in the description below. After watching this video, you might find some discounts there. Ok, and now let's start. Overview. First of all, guys, I want to say it's a small introductory learning program. And I mean, it does offer some hands-on experience, but it's not likely to do wonders for your portfolio. And it's definitely not designed to make you job ready. All that said, it still provides you with some solid basic knowledge of coding in general C and C++ programming. Another thing to note here is this core series is designed for beginner learners. But that being said, if you are a complete newbie to coding, it might be a bit difficult for you. So Having some knowledge of a programming language, any language really, can be super helpful, folks. And don't get me wrong, it's not a must-have, but it will definitely help you when you start. And when you get into the more advanced classes, knowing a bit of graph theory can also come in handy. Again, it's not a deal-breaker if you are not familiar with it, but it's good to have it during this course series. So what are you going to learn here? Well, guys, this specialization is designed for all programming fans, computer scientists and AI lovers out there. This course series is all about developing your programming skills using the foundational languages of C and C++. Out of the four courses in the program, two are focused on the C and two on C++. And you will start with the basics of programming in C. After that, you will move on to the more advanced stuff like C++ semantics and syntax. Why is this important? Well, it will get you ready to tackle higher level problems using AI algorithms and Monte Carlo evaluation, especially in complex games. So you might be just starting out or already know some programming basics. In any case, this specialization will help you level up your skills in C and C++, and that will prepare you for handling some seriously cool stuff in AI and game development. I don't know about you, but all this sounds exciting to me. If you are someone who plans a career in game design, this might be a nice choice. Like I said earlier, this core series was designed at the University of California, Santa Cruz. In this case, you get a single instructor and his name is Ira Paul. He is a professor of computer science at the University of California, Santa Cruz, and well known in the world of programming. Mr. Paul knows his stuff when it comes to languages like C, C++, C Sharp and Java. He is written in many books and articles on these topics. So, folks, you know you are learning from a real expert in the field. Content and structure. Alright, so like I said, it's a small specialization that only includes four courses. Here they are. C for everyone, programming fundamentals. Here you will learn writing your first simple program from scratch, compiling, debugging and running a program, arrays and pointers. Get to know how to store multiple values and keep track on their location, using functions and storage classes to perform specific tasks and manage where data is stored, logic operators and question types, lexical elements and data types. Types. C for everyone structured programming. And in this course, you will learn applying concepts using command line arguments, using simple C constructs, loops, conditionals, and variables, using assets like print statements and tools to debug code. Next, C for C programmers, part A. And here are the things you will learn in this course converting C programs to C, using basic container classes to organize and manage your information more effectively, applying the principles of Dijkstra's shortest pass algorithm to find the shortest route between points in the graph. You will break it down and use it in your programs. Also, guys, I have to say, please keep in mind that this course is for experienced C programmers 
who want to program in C++. The examples and exercises included in it require a basic understanding of algorithms and object-oriented software. C++ for C programmers part B. And finally, in this course you will learn, using the standard template library or STL, applying inheritance logic and C++ syntax, describing and comparing min-max and alpha-beta algorithms. And just like the previous course, this one is for more experienced learners. Pricing and certification. Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback I have seen, some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Career opportunities So, as I'm sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according to my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student reviews Alright, so what are student reviews like for this specialization program? Well, guys, like I said, there are currently almost 3000 reviews. The rating for it is 4.4 out of 5, which is a little lower than the majority of courses I reviewed. But don't get me wrong, it's still the high enough score. Based on the student feedback I have seen, people enjoyed the Ira Paul's teaching style a lot. He really made complex concepts easier to understand. Here is one of the 5 star reviews I found. The course gives you a well designed overview of the main features of C. Programming concepts are introduced in the context of an AI based game of hacks, which truly motivates the course for me. Instructor seems well versed in the course contents, and presentation of the material is is done in a rather logical way. I really enjoyed and learned a lot. And when it comes to criticism, some people say that the course could be better organized and presented. This course provides a good foundation. I learned a lot and it refreshed my memory on programming concepts I had forgotten in the past few years. However, the course could use some cleaning up. There are some videos out of order or even missing that are referred to in other videos. Sometimes the assignments and quizzes don't seem to align with the topics as closely as they should. So keep that in mind, folks. Is the coding for everyone C and C++ specialization worth it? Ok, my friends, and now let's answer the big question. Is it worth investing your time and money in this specialization program? And honestly, I think it's definitely worth your time. It's great if you are a beginner looking to learn programming from scratch. And it's equally good if you know some basics in C programming language and want to dive into C++. This specialization just has something for everyone. I like the focus on practical skills like using the STL, mastering inheritance, and understanding game playing algorithms. All in all, it looks like you will come out with a strong foundation in C and C++. Alright, my fellow developers, and it's all about my review of the coding for everyone – C and C++ specialization on Coursera. Feel free to check out the useful links in the description below, they can be super helpful. As usual, don't forget to like this video, subscribe on my channel, thanks for watching, until next time.